So let's have a look at what we're actually going to test today. We're not going to write the application. We've got no. a really simple kind of canned demo to, to have a look at. But I really like how simple it is because it takes kind of the complexity away of going, oh, so what was this component doing? It's kind of like super generic of what you'd see in an Angular application. Mm -hmm. You have a component that is a presentational component, which means that it just has just the information it needs to present onto the page. And then that lives in a container component, which is the smart component yes. that can call the Angular service and get the information. And then we've got an Angular service that actually makes a HTTP request to a local server we've got running on the machine. And I really like this because it kind of shows like a cross-cutting slice of what you'd do if you uh -huh. wanted to write a test. You've got to test this component, and you've got this you know, modern pattern of having presentational and container components, and then the service. OK. So I'll jump into Visual Studio Code here, and I'm just going to pop down into the terminal before we look at the actual directory, and just run ng to get a hold of the Angular CLI, yep. and s for serve. And we'll just start the application before we come back and have a look at what's in here. Okay. So I've built this with the Angular CLI, which is a great way to learn to write tests and what almost everybody's using to mm -hmm. actually start their Angular applications, because sure. it's from the team, and everyone's using it, and it's very robust. And it comes with end-to-end -end tests and unit tests already set up out of the box, which oh, I'll right. show okay. in a sec. Cool. So if we come over now to the browser, and we just come over to the tab, you can see it here running. I'll just refresh it to make sure. And it's very simple. That is nice, Duncan. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it has no frameworks except Angular, no libraries. I just wanted to keep it intentionally simple because it, we just want to look at the way that you test the sure. code around it. Yeah. So we have here a very simple list of users that are just buttons and an mm -hmm. add button. And I can click on a user. It takes me to an Angular form. Yep. And I can edit this user and then push Submit. And sure. it updates the field and come back and edit again. We can do more with it. But that's really what we're looking at testing today okay. is this. And if we, if we come down and actually have a sneak here, at the HTML for the page. I'm just going to Control Shift Command Shift C to select this kind of outer div here. You can see we've got this app root, which is a whole Angular application. Sure. That's the element it gets injected into. And then we have our app users, which is our container component here, which is the one that gets a list of users. And it passes those users down to the presentational component here, which is the thing that actually has the HTML. Yep. So the presentational component doesn't know how to get the users. It just knows how to show them. That's right. But this makes testing much, much easier. It's, there's a big performance benefit in following this pattern. I see a lot of developers doing it, okay. especially if they're doing something like NGRX, where they're managing state with the Redux pattern and yep. taking some of the the change detection control away from Angular for performance reasons. You follow, see this pattern a lot. I make a container component. It can get the users. Then I have a presentation, or it can show the users. Sure. So then that's what this one is down here. So it's nice and simple. And then we have a reactive form to be able to uh, show that input field and update it. OK. So if we come back over into Visual Studio Code, we can see that it's just a default uh, Angular CLI project. I just went ng-new and made the project, you have to install it. There's great docs at cli.angular.io. Yep. Most people doing Angular are going to be using it. They know OK. Uh, so in the source folder here, in the app folder, you can see that we have a components containers folder. So the components are the presentational components, and yes. the containers are the container components. And in a real project, this will be much more architected out into feature folders. For sure. So you would have a feature that would have a containers and components folder. And this would be sitting in, say, a users feature folder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for here, I just kept it simple and put it in here. Yep. And then we have services. So we've got a single uh, user service here. And then we have a container service that has uh, or a containers folder that has a component for the users. The which, list of them. A list of them. Yep. And then that on its HTML template, if we go look at that, has then the reference to the presentational component, which is the app-user-list one. Ah, OK. And then we've got the same setup. So, and that would live in here in the user list oh, yeah. component. Yep. So you've got this kind of com container co component structure set up. But it makes testing easier because when I test the list, all I need to know is about how to render it. 
I don't mm. need to know about how to get them and mock the service and other things. Because it's done in another component and I've got a clean separation. Yeah. So that's a big part of being able to write more testable code as well. Yeah, I've, that translates to other languages as well, definitely. The mm -hmm. separation of concerns yep. uh, and the loose coupling because the less dependencies a single module has on everything else, the, the easier is, is to test. Mm -hmm. So I, I can kind of follow why that is important in this as well. Yeah. And that's one of the benefits. I think this drive to have these separated didn't come from testing as much as performance improvements and change detection. But as a side benefit, there's a huge plus yeah. for the testing yeah. stuff because it's loose, more loosely coupled, as you oh, say. Oh, for sure. So this is our application. We're going to dive into it more um, and the other parts of it. Uh, it's hopefully going to be a really nice thing to test as we test from our presentational component to our container component that has a dependency on our service and our service has dependencies on Angular, HTTP and other <laughs> things and we'll get into a ball of mess and, sure. and we'll untangle it and write some good tests. Sounds good. <laughs>